Hey friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel where today we are opening another box of yarn. Um, so it's kind of become a thing that I like to hang out in my bedroom and open my yarn here. This is where I get the best light in the house. This is where it seems to be that I also get um, the best audio. Um, uh, you know, I'm still trying to figure out a good recording setup. I have bought lights, I've been setting things up in my office. But so far, this is kind of what gives me the best results at the moment, and I don't have time to experiment with so much. So here we are, coming to you again from my bedroom floor, because this is the best place to do it. So um, today I'm opening up a brand new yarn that I am really excited about. Um, a few months back, you may have seen me use a new yarn from Lion Brand called Local Grown, which was a 100% percent wool that is sourced here in the U.S. from start to finish, like quite literally from farm to fiber. So today is exciting because there is a brand new yarn that has just hit the market. Look guys, I haven't even opened it all yet. I still have plastic. I'm not going to crinkle it right here, but this is a brand new yarn that is part of the local grown family and it is cotton. I love cotton. Um, especially whoop, living here in north Northwest Florida. I am in the panhandle. It is hot. It is humid. Like, I need cotton. And this stuff, oh my gosh, you guys, it's nice. I mean, it is, it is phenomenal. And I know I say that a lot about um, yarns because I just, I love yarns and generally whatever I share, I love. But this if you've ever used a Pima cotton of any sort or Lion Brand's Pima cotton, this is nicer. Like, it is softer. The, the colors are f fantastic. So let's just, let's start opening them up and, and see what we got. Because I, I want to share, I want to show them all to you. Like, look at this. This is really dark. This is, I don't know if this is just called black or is it called something? Yeah, this is called just, this is black. It's just black. But um, let's find a better one that I can show you while I'm talking about it. How about this one? Let's see. What's this one? What color is this? This is oh, Bluebell. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is definitely true to color on camera. Oh, it feels amazing. All right. So this is their local grown cotton. So this is a 100% cotton. And again, from start to finish, done all right here in the U.S., which is phenomenal. So this is something that supports local uh, cotton farmers here in the United, the United States. It's then made in our cotton, um, our mills that's, that develop the yarn right here in the United States. And then it is packaged up here and it goes to the Lion Brand Warehouse, which is now based in Georgia. And then when you guys order it, it's getting shipped out to you by people working here in the United States. So start to finish, this is supporting our local economy, which is phenomenal. Right now, that is something super important to us that we should be doing. And this does just that. Um, I'm not sure where the uh, cotton fields are specifically. Um, I know that they are across the United States. I'm still trying to get more information on that. I just couldn't wait to share it with you. So I just, I just wanted to come on and start sharing. Um, but I, I'm curious if there's any down here in Florida because where I am in the panhandle, I am surrounded by cotton fields. And if you've ever seen a field of cotton, it's it's gorgeous. And it's and it's funny because these, you know, the, the harvesters come out and they're harvesting the cotton and they make them into these big giant bales and they look like these huge marshmallows out in the field. And then you see them driving down the road and it's funny when it's cotton season here because we end up with just cotton all over the highways and the roads. It's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. I love it. And so I, I want to find out, I'm like, Ken, is there any way that you could tell me where the farms are? Um, you know, who, who's doing it? Because I would love if it was in my area, but I don't, I don't know for sure yet. Um, like with the wool, it took me a little bit of time to figure out where the farmers were. I know that they were kind of trying to keep it, um, not secret, but, um, a little bit more private because it is small family farms and we're not trying to like invite people in to try to be uh, you know looking around because it's it is it's it's small family farms it's not like some big operation where you know you want people going in so it's processed in the Carolinas so 
uh, North and South Carolina, there are two mills in the Carolinas that are making all of this yarn, which again is phenomenal before it gets uh, sent over to Georgia. So anyways, hold on, back up, right? Back up, back up, back up, back to the yarn. So this is a 100% cotton. It is a number four worsted weight. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty it is. Is that not gorgeous? Okay, the um, it's a number four cotton. The recommended hooks on this is a 5.5 millimeter recommended needle is a 4.5 I have not tried with this yet because I didn't want to rip all of these open until I had a chance to unbox everything for you but once I'm done with this I'm gonna go and um, do some swatches and I will make sure to also share that with you in this video so you can see how this yarn works out but right now I cannot tell you how it works out because I quite literally haven't used it yet I am going by first impression and this stuff feels amazing um, but anyways so it's a 100% USA cotton hand wash lay flat to dry you get 184 yards per skein, which is 3.5 ounces. So pretty good, um, good amount of, of yardage in this. You could definitely make some nice smaller projects with a few balls or grab a whole bunch of this and do something bigger. This yarn does have dye lots on it. So if you grab any of this, grab enough for your project so that this way there's no uh, variation among your skeins because that's also really important so there is a dye lot on this gosh does that feel amazing so all right so we've got black and we've got bluebell I'm ready I have one of every color I'm so excited so this next one let's check this one out what is this oh gosh this is like a sea green what do they call this aqua that is beautiful look at that color oh it feels great so far all three of these feel great you ever notice that sometimes certain colors within the same yarn line will feel a little bit different that's something that i'm always looking for because i cannot stand when i get a yarn and i love it and then i get it in another color and it doesn't feel the same you ever have that happen so we're gonna see if that's the case with these so far these three all feel the same so that's good okay next up let's see liberty this is a beautiful like navy blue this is a really nice navy blue it's called liberty that's beautiful we got next Let's see. Ooh, look at this red. Oh, this is like cherry pie. Apple. Apple pie. <laughs> I was thinking cherry pie. Apple pie. Look at that. That is a great red. Ooh, I love that. It's still really soft. Let's see. Let's keep going. Guys. This is a really nice gray. Thunder. <gasps> this is like a perfect gray. It's not warm. It's not really cool. It's like a very good middle of the road gray. This is perfect. Look at that. Oh, wow still feels great this reminds me of quail from the lilac this reminds me of if you saw one of my unboxings maybe a month or so ago I unboxed a couple of yarns and I had some of their superwash merino and I had a color called quail this reminds me of that so if you've seen that before this is really similar to it but this is lilac beautiful still feels really nice oh gosh actually this one might feel even softer might just be the color making me think it feels soft. No, still feels good. Let's see what, ooh, oh gosh, what is this? This is a very like pumpkin color. Pump, pumpkin. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, plastic. This feels great. This is a, this is, mm, this is showing up way more orange on camera. It's a little bit more muted than what you're seeing here. Um, this is a really good, uh, I wouldn't call it a burnt orange, but it's not like, it's not like fake orange. This is like a true, a true pumpkin color. Like it really is. It's very accurately pumpkin. It's like a perfect pumpkin. It really is. It's showing up. It's showing up a little bit more orange, but it's, come on camera, pick up the right color. Oh, hi Kelly. Mm -hmm. It always seems to be a cat in the video recently. Here we go. Okay, this is a really nice bright white. This is white, white, white. And it's just it's just called white. It's just called white. Oh, see? This white does not feel as soft. It feels soft, but you can definitely tell this is like undyed. This feels this feels a the white feels a little different. Not in a bad way. But you can you can feel the difference. I'm I would assume. Wow, this is like blowing. This is this is white. This is probably has like less processing and stuff happening, or maybe 
maybe more to get it the white maybe it's it's got to be like bleached out a little bit I have no idea but I feel a difference in the white not not in a bad way but I do I do feel I do feel a difference oh gosh what is this this is like a perfect cream fisherman mm. oh this feels really good fisherman this is pretty let's see what is this oh army green that is accurate this might be my favorite so far oh check that out oh, this is like a perfect green oh this feels amazing still going guys still going there's a few more in here what's this one? Ooh, this is like a terracotta kind of color dusty pink that's accurate that's pretty oh my gosh imagine these two together oh with like oh gosh Mm, a striped, striped, like, tank top, crop top, mm, t-shirt, <gasps> like a Henley. I like these three colors. Four more in here, guys. Four more colors. <laughs> What's this one? This is, like, a darker green, like a juniper. Evergreen. Look at that. Evergreen. This is really pretty. Oof. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. Look at that this terracotta definitely terracotta uh i feel like yeah, showing up more more saturated on camera than it really is this is a little bit more muted i would say like mm, this is the fun part of recording some people record and they're like, they go on and like everything looks so perfect. And I'm like, nah, it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. I'm a little, I'm a little more fun. <laughs> I just like coming on and talking about yarn. Yeah. I can't get it to. There we go. That looks right. That looks right. Look like right. Mm, yeah. Right. Like here. That looks right. Yep. That's accurate. Oh gosh. That's so pretty. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Dusty purple. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, ah. Oh. oh, dusty purple is pretty compared to the lilac. I think I like this one better. Oh, maybe this one. <laughs> one more color. <laughs> Ooh, sunshine. Oh my gosh, guys, this is pretty yellow. I've been really liking yellows. I don't know why. I'm not normally a yellow girl I always feel like yellow clashes with my skin tone and like like my hair I don't know I just but I've been really liking I've been really liking yellow look at how pretty this is oh my gosh what could you what could you put this with Ooh. oh yeah oh yeah sunshine army green and bluebell that's a good color combo guys let's take a look at all like let's see if i can hold all of these hold on let's try this let's try this look at all these colors we have one two three four five six seven eight nine <laughs> ten <laughs> eleven twelve oh gosh thirteen fourteen fifteen one more one more one more sixteen colors guys look at those <gasps> Aren't they gorgeous? Look at this. This is a really, really, really well-rounded palette of colors. You can make so many things with this. Um, it did just go up. I believe, if I remember correctly, each skein is $12.99. If you've shopped things from Lion Brand's LB collection, this is in that price point, and this is that kind of quality. All right, you guys, so I am going to take all of this beautiful yarn and I am going to go do a, a couple of swatches with it, which I will share with you in the next part of this video. But before we get to that, I am going to be designing a couple of um, little projects with this to start out with. Um, think like two, three, four skeins. So look at all these colors. Oh my gosh every single color that I showed you, I want you guys to pop in down on the comments and let me know what color combos you think I should do. Like, tell me, should I do like, hmm, what's this one? Terracotta, Sunshine, and 
army green. Like that's a good color combo. You know, should I do something like that? Now rem remember, I only have one of each color right now. So that's all I'm working with. So you can't say like, oh, do two of this and one of that. No, it's gotta be just what I have here. So, you know, let's see what's this. Um, dusty purple, fisherman, and is this aqua? Oh gosh, like that's a great combo. What else? If I threw in, oh, look at these four together. Oh my goodness. I don't know. There's so many options. Pop down in those comments and give me some suggestions because there's a lot of different, a lot of different options. So pop down in those comments, give me some color suggestions and let's go hop into doing some swatches. Okay guys, so I have made three different swatches and a little something over here that's a bit of a sneak peek for you guys for something coming at the end of this month. But I made three different swatches using a 5.5 five and 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. The recommended hook on this yarn label is a 5.5 millimeter. So that's this one right here. Um, personally, I think that this is a great hook for this yarn. Um, I would say, let's take a little bit of a close up here. If you like your stitches a little bit more open, looser, and just kind of get a little bit more of that drape in your material that you're creating a 5.5 is perfect me personally i like to have my stitches a little bit more tightly together so if i was making something other than what i made over here i'll talk about this in a second but if i was making say a garment with this i would go with the five millimeter because it creates just a little bit more dense of a material um there's still that really good stretch there's still some space in between those stitches to give you that light and airiness that you want for a warm weather garment or something like a shawl. Um, so I personally would probably use a five millimeter for most of my projects with this yarn. I do like the 5.5, but personal preference, I like a little bit smaller of a stitch. So I would go with the five, but for this beautiful, lovely square that you see over here, I decided to go with the 4.5 millimeter. So this gives you quite a bit more dense of a stitch. Um, if it was a garment, this would probably get kind of heavy with it being cotton, but the stitch definition is absolutely amazing. The stitches feel great. There is still some stretch. There are still some spaces between the stitches, but not much. But again, it would make for something that's quite dense. A 4.5 would probably be good for say something like if you were making a crop top and you wanted a little bit more structure to your piece, I would say go with a 4.5 or maybe even jump down to a four. I did not swatch with a four because I don't think that it's necessary. I already know by going down one, well, two hook sizes, um, just seeing the difference between the three. These are exactly the same number of stitches and rows I did, uh, what was it? Oh goodness, 12 stitches by five rows and you could see there is quite a difference when you go down each hook size. So this yarn is going to be very important for you to gauge with because you could see there is a huge variation in this. I can only imagine how much smaller um, a four millimeter hook would make this little swatch right here. But again, this is great for something like a garment. Even, you know, a shawl, something lacy using a 5.5. A 5 would be my preference because that gives you kind of that middle ground of still open, still light, still airy, but again, gives you just, just that more, more bit of structure that you would want. And a 4.5 would probably be the best hook size if you were making something like a crop top, a bathing suit, um, maybe even like um, a... Um, a, what would you call it like a floppy sun hat a 4.5 or maybe even jump it down to a four for that much more structure overall i really 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 enjoyed working with this yarn if you have used lion brands pima cotton it is very similar to that but i would say it's actually better it's very soft it's got a little bit less fuzz than the pima cotton does um I've worked with the Pima Cotton before, and in my opinion, actually, let me pull it this out. This is one of my projects in Pima Cotton, and you can see this yarn has held up great, but it does get a little bit of a fuzz to it, but this has been worn, this has been, this has been um, steamed, and it still looks wonderful, but 
compared to this look at that so um I made these swatches, I frogged them, I played around with them, and overall this yarn held up great. I did start a new design using this yarn. Guys, look at this, how pretty. Oh my gosh. So for this square, I'm using Terracotta Fisherman and the Army Green. Um, I loved this yarn so far. It's working up beautifully. The stitch definition is amazing. This square is using the 4.5 millimeter and it looks stunning. Oh my gosh. It feels so good. It's got, like I said before, it's got some great stretch. Um, it does hold its shape well. The stitches, gosh, they look absolutely amazing. Colors are wonderful. I had a really, really hard time picking a color palette because there's just so many options. Um, I'm, huh, I'm kind of almost wishing that I would have used, this is sunshine, right? Kind of almost wishing I would have included sunshine in here somewhere. Um, for this particular design though, I think it looks better using three colors. So I'm not going to be mixing sunshine in there, but stay tuned for this pattern because it will be coming out at the end of April. So working with this yarn, I did not have any issues with the yarn splitting. I didn't have any issues with it dragging on my hook. I didn't have any issues making my stitches. I haven't found any um, weird knots or anything like that in my skeins yet. Um, I did get a good chunk of some of my colors used up making these first couple of squares. And overall, the yarn is very consistent. The twist on it is really, really nice. This yarn feels great in my hands. I'm really, I'm really liking using this. This yarn would be great for um, baby blankets, for loveys. This would be wonderful for, oh, this would be a great yarn to make coasters with. Um, just by working with it, I can already feel that this is definitely a super absorbent cotton. Um, it feels, it just, it feels so nice. It's not squeaking. You guys ever notice that? Have you ever worked with a cotton before and it squeaks? <laughs> Is that strange? Like it's just stiff. I haven't had that with this. I don't know if it's my yarn hook combo or not, but um, I don't know, I'm, I'm loving it. I hope that this review was helpful for you. I hope that this um, let you get a good look at this yarn before you grab some for yourselves. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that you guys will love, love, love this yarn so head on over to lion brand's website make sure that you check the banner at the top because that's where you're going to find coupon codes um if things just aren't automatically on sale always check that blue banner that's floating around up there uh and yeah i'm going to jump back into making more of my squares because like i said this is coming at the end of the month and I gotta get it done so I can write up the pattern and take some photographs to get it out to you guys. It's going to be a really fun, really cute pattern. Perfect for spring. It's going to be a travel essential. Um, so hint, hint, you're going to want to be making one for this summer for all of your adventures because it is going to be the perfect thing to tie together an outfit. You will have tons of color options to pick from when you make it using Lion Brand's brand new yarn, Local Grown. Oh gosh, you guys, really love this yarn. I hope that you guys found this review helpful. Head on over to Lion Brand's website, grab yourself some of this yarn. You will absolutely love it. It's going to be your new favorite cotton, for real guys. I, I am loving this. I wanna make absolutely everything in it for this summer season. Um, Sadly, that won't be the case because I already have so many projects planned with other yarns that I just need to get through. But this is going to be a stash staple of mine, just like it's sibling local grown wool. You will absolutely love it. You can't go wrong with your color choices. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that this way you never miss any of my free patterns, video tutorials, yarn reviews, and just all around fun chit chat.